Hello guys and welcome back to another video, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. Before we get started, please vote up in the poll what my next video should be about. Don't forget to share this video, if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more click that subscribe button. With this being said, let's get right into it. The only software that you will need is VirtualBox. The link will be in the description. You can also use VMware if you want to know how to get that free, full and legal. The link will be in the description for the video. You'll also need a zip in which we'll find these three files extracted. Don't worry about using Gadfly, I just use it to shorten it. It's not a scam or something. I always get comments about it. In the description you'll find that license key. But anyway, create a new virtual machine into your VirtualBox or VMware. Put in a name, I'm gonna call it Windows 95 and select Windows 95. Click next and put in an amount of RAM, I'm gonna put 128 megabytes. You can put whatever you want but don't put too much, it's gonna give you an error. Create a virtual hard disk, select your format and for best performance click fix size, you can also go with dynamically. Put in a size, it doesn't actually matter but don't put too much again. This should be enough and you can move it on another drive or folder or partition. Click create. I'm going to fast forward at this moment. Now click settings. And then this window, go to system, processor, and disable this. Acceleration and disable this, VTX and AMD V. Onto the display, put an amount of RAM that you want, but don't put too much again. 32 megabytes should be enough and the rest looks OK. Click OK and click Start. Now it's going to get you this select startup disk window. So click Browse and go ahead and select the MS-DOS 7.1 CD. Click start and I'm going to zoom in so you can see better. Tap enter on your keyboard, tap enter to click next, next, I agree, next, continue, create a FAT32, reboot, type enter again and click next, 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 continue. Yes, put in a path if you want, you can leave that default and click next. Yes, go down and tap space to not install add-ons and click next. Yes, okay. This will take very short, so be patient. Yes, no. Yes, enable both, load both, and now select what you want but I recommend you default and click continue, click continue again and click OK. Now before you do anything go down and right click the disk and click remove disk. Click yes and it's gonna put into MS-DOS just press any key and here you are in MS-DOS 7.1. So now you can clear the screen if you want I'm gonna do this by typing CLS and go down and right click the disk and then put the Windows 95 Go into the D drive and then type in DIR just to list the files and folders. Now what you want to type in is setup. You can also type in setup.exe and then tap enter on your keyboard. Now it's going to open up the Microsoft scan disk. Now it's going to open the setup. Click the screen to go ahead and use the pointer and if a window shows up, click Capture and then click Continue onto the Windows 95 setup. This will take very shortly and then click Yes. Click OK. Next. Next. 
and it's gonna just uh, prepare a little bit and now onto the setup options you can click whatever you want I'm gonna click custom and I'm gonna guide you through it now you need to insert your license key that will be in the description so I'm gonna open up the notepad and I'm gonna put these side to side I'm gonna fast forward and type in the license key and I'm gonna close this and put this maximize back click next and put in a name if you want to any name will do yes and next now tick these two boxes click next Now, uh, tick what you want and click next, click next, and if you want to check that, check it, but uh, now click no and click next. Now click next and it's going to prepare to copy files. I'm going to fast forward right here. Now it's going to show these prompts, click yes on all of them. And then click finish to restart, but before you click OK and restart it, go ahead and remove the disk again. And click the Windows 95 fix CPU. And click OK and it's going to restart into this. Press any key. And then click no, the N key on your keyboard and wait. Now, click any key on your keyboard to restart your computer, but do not remove yet the disk. Now, once it restarts, you're going to remove the disk, and then click machine, reset, click reset, and the machine should now go into Windows 95. Now, it's going to be the rest of the setup. Now, what you need to do is click OK, and now put in a work group. I recommend you just type in a work group, and click close. Now it's going to start copying some files, but there will be no disk inside, so it's going to give you an error. And you click OK. Now it's going to ask you to browse for it. Click cancel. Now I'm going to fast forward right here. This will take a little while. Be patient. Now you're going to select your time zone. If your pointer does like this, uh, this may happen in any moment. Um, you can see that my pointer goes back. So click the host key that I just showed you. It's shown there in the corner as I showed you and then click back the screen to recapture the pointer and everything should go normal in my case is right control so put in your time zone and click apply click OK now click next click cancel and click OK Windows 95 will start again press any key any key any key again and any key again once again and until you see this I'm gonna skip right here so you get right at the boot up you'll see those press any key at every time you boot it and now you're gonna get for the Windows networking some DLLs are missing but that's not a problem just click OK on all the errors that show up the Windows 95 is gonna run just right even without those So yeah guys, 
Your guy winners 95. Thanks for watching. See you next time on How Do I T.